Hey. I checked outside. I thought you'd be having a cigarette. Let me tell you something, Leo. After heroin and cocaine, tobacco is next. Great. Another criminal empire we can give birth to. There'll be speakeasies all over Chicago where you can get smuggled cartons of Marlboro Lights. I fought a jungle war. I'm not doing it again. If I could put myself anywhere in time, it would be the cabinet room on August 4th, 1964, when our ships were attacked by North Vietnam in the Tonkin Gulf. I'd say, Mr. President, don't do it. You're considering authorizing a massive commitment of troops and throwing in our lot with torturers and panderers, leaders without principle and soldiers without conviction, with no clear mission and no end in sight. This war's at home. Its casualties are in our prisons and not our hospitals. The amount of money the American government is spending in Colombia is the exact same amount American consumers are spending buying drugs from Colombia. We're funding both sides of this war and we'll never win it that way. Leo, I can't possibly reverse no our one. I can't possibly reverse our position on negotiating. No one's gonna know. You don't make another phone call. That happens someplace else. Santos is going to be the one to let him out. There were just 14 people in the room who heard Santos make me the offer. Those 14 people keep bigger secrets than this. You know what Truman Capote said was the bad part about living outside the law? You no longer have the protection of it. What's to stop me? 200 CIA operatives, black ops. 200 guys with no wives, no kids, no parents. I send 200 operatives down there. Monday morning, I read in the paper, Juan Aguilar is dead. What's to stop me? We lost this one, Mr. President. It was bad intelligence, and we lost this one. He was the Queen's Rook. That's why I couldn't trade the bishop. It was over six moves ago. Arrange for their immediate release. Yes, sir, Mr. President. If they so much as experience turbulence on their way out. Yes, sir. I want to go to Dover later tonight. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Folks, take your seats, please. The briefing will start now.